After more than two decades, the Toyota Supra is back. And boy, how times have changed. This is actually a collaboration between Toyota and BMW that's built in Austria, in case you were wondering how globalized the automotive industry is today. BMW used the platform for its Z4 convertible, and Toyota got this coupe. They worked on it together at the start, then about two years before production, each went their own ways to come up with a unique style and feel. And this definitely looks unique. Whether you love or hate the styling of the Supra, it is an attention getter. When you drive this thing on the street, it turns head so far, you think everybody turned into an owl. The Supra comes in two flavors. This one has a two liter turbocharged four cylinder engine with 255 horsepower. But there's also a three liter inline six cylinder turbo that is 382. This one will accelerate from zero to 60 in five seconds, which is quick but the three liter will do it in under four, which is very quick. Along with the extra power, the three liter also comes with a computer controlled, active suspension, active rear differential, and power seats. But it also weighs a couple of hundred pounds more than this does. And it's priced a couple of grand more. The two liter starts at 44,000, while the three liter is 52. But it's about 7,000 less than a two liter BMW Z4. And that doesn't even come with a metal roof which I guess is a feature. The tires on this are the same type and just as wide as the ones on the three liter, so they feel similar in the turns. It's only when you hit the straights where this thing comes across as a little pokey, relatively speaking. One thing you might notice about the Super if you're getting into it from a Camry or a RAV4 is the new car smell, which is decidedly BMW. And I just drove a BMW last week, so I know what I'm talking about. In fact, I guess I kind of still am. At the Monticello Motor Club in Monticello, New York, Gary Gastelou, Fox News.